when you start getting into larger semantic models and you need to make APIs or calls directly to a semantic model, incremental partition refreshing, this is important. And this is why I, I've done a project recently where we had a client that needed this. Their models were much larger in the, you know, uh, tens of gigabytes size, 30, 40, 50 gigabytes in size, you don't ever want to reload that whole thing at once. You want to be very strategic about which partitions, how big are the partitions, is the partition by month, how many years of data are we trying to load at one time, because you're going to make the backend system kind of fall over in accordance to that as well. However, every time I open the report, when the SQL server gets paused or turns itself off, because I'm using direct query, dude, all the visuals oh. break on the page. Have you seen that? Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about because it's directly connected. So Yes. So I thought, so let me walk you through my mindset as a, as a user of this. When I was doing this, I had the SQL server, I had direct query semantic model, and I went to the report like a day later. I'm like, uh-oh, I broke something. The whole report, every visual in the entire report had just, this visual is un, un, unavailable. This visual is unavailable. I'm like, what is going on here? And so then I was like, okay, well, let me just refresh the page. Still nothing. Refresh it again. Refresh the little button on the report page to refresh and go get new data. Refresh the data. Still not working. I'm like, what's going on here?